monsters, ghouls, goliaths, spectres, Three, ready to gamble, two, win or lose, in the war zone, activate, let the wars begin, welcome to Heat D of the Robot Wars, merry go round, I think they're a bit cocky and uh, we're going to knock them out, oh yes, confidence has gone sky high, but what goes up must come down, Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the master of mayhem, Craig Charles. Welcome to Robot Wars, the Seventh Wars, and am I geared up for this one? Because tonight, the new king of the spinners is back. Oh yes, once Hypnodisc spun supreme, but with two spinning discs, and having caused utter carnage last year, 13 Black is now the one to fear. So, let's go disco! Yes, there'll be shrapnel tonight. So let the wars begin! Craig, eight mechanical maulers, 13 Black playing robot Russian roulette with Herbinator the Alien and Lightning. Then Thor's hammer, hold after bat, Hydra and Dutch entry, gravity do the war zone, dance of death. From Hornchurch in Essex, lightning. A sport previously in a tag team now enters the arena alone. What are these creatures sat here? Uh, well, the idea is lightning's made from the remains of a crashed alien spaceship, tough metal alloys, and so we got little alien pilots to fly it, you see. That doesn't stay there when you're in the ring, Lord, is it, in the well, arena? hopefully it's down for as long as he can, but no guarantees. And no chance. Two flippers with unique sideways action, stealthy-looking wedge shape, which makes self-riding difficult. I worry about the lack of experience and those little aliens, too. In Staffordshire, the alien. Back for a third wars, has never got out of the heat. What is your weaponry? It's uh, two one and a half kilo lump hammer heads here. Ooh. The whole thing's been trained at 1300 RPM. Weighs nine and a half kilos. That's um, going to do some damage if you get beside it. It did some damage, yes, in the qualifiers, yeah. It caused a, f a, f a few dents in a few robots, yeah. Interesting, this wedge shape with a vertical spinning hammer, pneumatic self-riding mechanism, 12mm polycarbonate armour, but the pneumatic tyres let it down. From Huddersfield in West Yorkshire, Herbinator. Newcomers to Robot Wars, Herbinator could face the deep sleep. This is a Herbinator. That's right. As in the Terminator. And Herbie. The Volkswagen. Ah, so it's a cross between Arnie and Herbie. That's right. I'm liking your work there. What is your weaponry? Flipper arm. Flipper Very arm. dangerous. Yeah. What could it lift? Small child? Oh, at least. Small child and a, a cow at the same time? Maybe an elephant. And maybe a big porky too. self writing with roll bars, welded aluminium construction. The flipper arm operated by a 16 bang pneumatic CO2 cylinder has got poor pushing ability though. From Hinkley in Leicestershire, and number seven seed, 13 Black. The number seven seed, semi-finalist from the Sixth Wars. You only <laughs> finished, they only finished their robot last night and they've got to go and fight today. That's pretty bad, isn't it? It is, actually, but it's, it's the way the robot is work, I'm afraid. <laughs> you are seventh seed. We are, yes. You did lose out in the semi-final last year. What modifications have you made? We have a self rider this time, so forget Blitz, we have a chance of staying in the fight. And we've got much more powerful weapons, uh, the discs are much faster, and so we should be able to destroy a lot more robots. Two 700mm diameter discs rotating counterclockwise at 1200rpm bring high damage capability at 20 miles an hour, it's the quickest in the battle as well. Roboteers, stand by. Let's have a look at the teams then. On the left, 13 Black, captain by John Denny, Herbinator, captain by Jeremy Cuss. And on the left there, the Lightning Boys, Laurie Calvert in charge, and the alien Carla Asplin captains that team. Little Christine Asplin there you can see as well. 
Oh, Cassius Chrome is in the war zone for the house robots. Along with Shunt. Three, two, one. Activate. 13 black, top left of your picture, must be favourite for this opening battle. The Herbinator gets a first slam in Robot Wars. New to the war zone, an impressive shove by the alien, spinning again, trying to get underneath the Herbinator. High ground clearance, that was always going to be vulnerable. The alien's hammer winding itself up. 13 Black dodging a little bit of trouble from Lightning, which looks impressive early on. Scuffling across the arena floor with great effect. 13 Black unlucky for some. Not unlucky for the alien, which just withstood that barrage. Ooh, is 13 Black smoking? The ref bot checking Herbinator. I think their short life in Robot Wars is about to cease. An ex-robot. Ref bot out there checking on 13 Black. But the Herbinator is no more, I'm sure. There goes the count. <laughs> A flipper flick will not keep you in Robot Wars, Herbinator. The idea is to move around, fight, rumble. The pit release button has been activated. They're trying to self right, you see, with the flipper, but they're flipping thin air. Oh, goodness me, 13 Black nearly went down the pit. What were they doing there, dawdling? That was poor driving from a very experienced 13 Black team. This is the fourth time they fought in Robot Wars, and they're in trouble. They have not fought a good fight. We know the Herbinator is out. And now the red pot was checking there on the alien. A very close look. Yes, the hammer is spinning slower and slower. There's no forward movement, though, from the 100-watt drive motors. And 13 Black is in trouble. The question, did the alien cease moving before 13 Black? I think it did. The Herbinator is now moving slowly, but it's too late for that. What a shame for the alien, because early on in the battle, I believe they were causing some trouble, and they got bashed in the end. From the floor, Flipper. Good forward somersault. And now, of course, once a robot is deactivated, has come to an end, we can play the drop zone. Once again, we've seen it before, Cease. the massive power of the boy. Cease his call. A genuine ocean boy. Massive weight. And the alien's arm on them, we've stood it. Fair play. What a battle. The Herbinator and the alien were immobilised first. So 13 black scrapes through by the skin of its teeth, along with lightning! Join us after the break for more Metal Monsters Gone Mad! Coming up, more machinery, a flipper, a hammer, some higgledy-piggledy dastardly deeds. All, of course, to satisfy our robot hearing needs. So far, two robots have crashed out. Herbinator bashed and flipped on its side. And then the alien, totally. All at sea. Welcome back to Robot Wars, where another four robots are about to grace or disgrace the war zone, and only two can survive. From Acreland in Northamptonshire, Thor. Show promise in its one previous appearance, the heats of the Sixth Wars. So how far are you going to go this year? Um, my main aim is to get seeded this year, um, and anything above that will be a bonus. I'll be really disappointed if I get seeded this year. The amount of time I'll put into it. How much time? Um, probably about 300 hours I've put onto this Ooh. now. So, um, 
a lot of love gone into this robot. A lot of love, a lot of money, a lot of time, effort. A, a uh, lot of love, a lot of time, a lot of money, yeah. and you're going to put it in the arena with all those house robots yeah, and, and things attacking it. It'll probably be uh, yeah, swept up at the end. So. <laughs> Jason, odd news. You're not seeded. A big, big hammer, though, with three different heads can punch through 18mm polycarbonate, two-wheeled nippy at 20 miles an hour. Could make the crowd roar, Thor. Hagborn in Oxfordshire, Hydra. Twice beaten in the heats in previous wars. Now, any modifications you've made this year? Yeah, there's quite a few this year. A lot of detail changes. Got titanium on the outside now. It was aluminium last year. Ooh. Much better axe. It's hardened steel point. Ooh. And we changed the front profile as well, so it get under the other robots a lot easier. This axe looks very, very dangerous this year. We've been testing it out on a few bits of titanium. It makes a nice little hole in them. So we'll wait and see what it does to the robots when we get in there. The pneumatic flipper also acts as a self-writing mechanism. Four-wheel, 36-volt power, very powerful and manoeuvrable, but 20-millimetre ground clearance around the sides and back. Mm. From Leuwarden in Holland, gravity. Reached a Dutch heat final, but then anti-gravity matter took over. William, this is gravity, I believe? Yes, it is. And gravity's come from Holland? From Holland, yes. All the way to qualify for the seventh wars. Yeah, and we qualified, so that's good. That's good news. You have been in the Dutch Wars, though, I believe. Uh, yes, I have. Good. And how far did you get? Uh, heat final. Not bad. No. So what is your main, what's your main weaponry? It's a full pressure flipper. Can hoist the car, so. And what are your tactics going to be? Straight in, straight out. Looks like a snow speeder, very strong, can drive through a car at speeds up to 10 miles an hour, two 750 watt electric motor powered. The armor though isn't the most resilient. The law of gravity says this could fall. From Barnsley in South Yorkshire, Odaf the Bad. A new, vivid, tigerish killing machine. So this is Hold Off the Bad, I believe. It is indeed, yeah. What's the bad about him? Um, is a fairly offensive spinner at the back and a flipper at the front. But you have got a tail. It's what, what, to assist in self-right. Right. And you, the little arms as well. Which is covered in fake fur. Yes, we hope to burn quite well. You nervous? How's your nerves doing? Terrible, absolutely. Really? Yeah, yeah. Good luck. Yeah, thanks a lot. Keep the nerves up. Lots of deep breathing. I've been trying, but I've been painting quite a lot, so... <laughs> Tiger, Tiger, burning bright, it will. Twin weaponed with the flipper and the horizontal spinning disc, 750 watt power. The armor looks secure, but the ground clearance too dodgy for me. Roboteers, stand by. Let's have a look at the teams then. Hydra on the left, Dennis and young Andrew Ledbetter, and Thor on the right, Jason Marston and Lee Cornish. The Gravity Boys on the left, captained by WJ, and Hold Off the Bad, captained by John Nicholson on the right. Shunts in the arena for the house robots. And there's Sergeant Bash too. Three, two, one, activate. So it's hammers against flippers here, and that's the immediate onslaught of the gravity flipper. Good to see Thor's hammer coming into play against Hoda after bad, which seems to have been silenced and stilled. It's OK now, though. Hydra's great hammer comes down. The axe with the hardened steel point we were learning about from the pits. A little tussle in the centre of the arena between Thor and Hoda after bad. Meanwhile, gravity looks mightily impressive, doesn't it? Oh, the big power of Thor's hammer! It is absolutely huge, and Hoda after bad turned over. The spinning disc won't right it. The flipper will, though. Good power there. Good recovery by Hoda after bad. Thor's hammer strikes the arena floor. Not great style. Poor control, blended aggression, and there is another great flip by Gravity. A full pressure flipper. And terrific effect as Hydra, tossed through the air, comes down with a bang and dodges another onslaught from the Dutch Gravity. Gravity's after Hydra, though, you can tell, can't you? Has it against the arena sidewall? Oh, goodness me! Who's destroyed the sidewall? Now, what's going to happen here? We're fighting off for the moment, they're out, they've gone! Hydra gone! But to me, the arena is unsafe, Cease should be called! Cease. And is, thank goodness! There was 
the shove. Look! Crash, bash, smash. That's gone. Arena now unsafe. So was Hydra. Look at the power of the flip. Oi! That's our camera. Oh, good riddance, Hydra. Plenty of pocket money will be needed to mend that. The judges will decide who goes through. Surely gravity will be there. Hydra, we know, won't. Let's have a look again. First on stop. Gravity on Hydra. Recognise the weakness. Thor, OK. Aggressive against Hodaf. Hodaf overturned. We're seeing points being scored here. OK, good control by Hodaf to self-right. Again, more aggression from Thor. This is where gravity really started to play and enjoy itself. The wall went, the camera went, Hydra went too. What a right royal rumble that was. Robots all over the place, literally flipping fantastic. A cease was called for safety reasons and the judges have decided to score the battle up to the time that Cease was called. And on that basis, in their infinite wisdom, they've gone for gravity and Thor! Confirmation then that the judges went for gravity and Thor through to the second round battles. This is how they line up. First of all, it'll be 13 black against gravity. Thor will meet lightning. That's all after another special event crate. Time for tonight's special event. At the end of the series, we're going to be hosting the World Championships. And in the pits, fighting for the right to represent America, are two American robots. They're hardly American beauties. Bring them out, Spartacus and Flipper. From Obo in the USA, Spartacus. A gladiator, but thrown to the lions here. What's the hat all about? Well, the hat was uh, little Spartacus came last time, and so we made a bigger, stronger helmet this time so it wouldn't get kicked around. Now, the weapon looks absolutely so scary. I can't even think about it. It's a pincer. The idea is to get this underneath of them, get them against the wall. We chew through their armor, through their controls, whatever we can get a hold of. How much uh, power have you got in that? It's got about a ton per point. Wow. That is going to rip a robot to shreds if, if you get, we can a, hold get a hold of it. Uh, you are up against Flipper, the yes. Flipper. Yes. Did you see him? Do you reckon you can take him? Uh, if we get a hold of him, uh, that nylon top won't look the same when we come back out. But if he flips us, we'll see. It may self-right, it may not. Look at the flip. You look how heavy you are. Uh, it's heavy. Overpowered, overweaponed, and over here, hydraulic claw and wedge weaponry, the lighter of the two, 92 kilos, not the quickest. From Oregon in the USA, Flipper. Was it Flipper a dolphin? Let's see how this swims in the current of the war zone. You are here. This is for a place in the world qualifiers. Um, you're fighting Spartacus to represent America. How are we feeling about that, Jordan you know I think that if I keep to the side of him, I'll be doing okay. I need to avoid, you know, getting stuck in his front jaw. Because if I do that, then I'm sure I'll sustain quite a bit of damage. Because this is, uh, he's going to go through this pretty easily. Yeah, that's, th this is built to take some impact, but not to be kind of torn apart. So it's got some aggression in it? Yes, it's got it does. Power. It does. All right, well, good luck in there, Joe. Thank you very good much. Good luck, Flipper. Not built to be torn apart. What on earth is it doing here? A rotating drum and CO2 pneumatic lifting arm acting as a stream at strength there. Possible weakness, the wheels use chain drive. Roboteers, stand by. There then the Spartacus 2 boys, Jim Rowland and Don Neely. And flipper, Joe Morawski, a systems analyst by trade. In the arena for the house robots, a killer lot. And Shunt there as well. It's for a place in the World Championships. Three, two, one, activate. Spartacus 2 slowly moves away. Flipper uh, doesn't do much at all, really. 
sits there, waits. Uh, move. Uh, go on. Quick, quick, quick. No, okay. Spotted us. You've been on the attack then. And uh, flipper. Energetic? No. Um, tigerish? No. Spartacus? Leaden footed? Yes, but certainly can push and tug. And the world of robot wars is quaking at the knowledge that one of these will be in the world championships. Oh, Flipper, what are you doing? I think this is tactical. Yep, Flipper is using the I'll let you pull me around a bit tactic and then dump me in the pit tactic. And that's the end. Flipper was outstanding, I felt. I don't know about you. Well done, Spartacus, anyway. That was truly one of the most memorable performances I've ever seen from a robot in Robot Wars. High five. Yeah. Mm hmm Well, these are the highlights. There. Bye-bye. Don't come again. Well done, Spartacus, to be fair. Into the World Championships! Congratulations. All the way from the US of A for that. What a disaster! Spartacus! They go through to the World Championships! Well, you've flown all the way from the US of A at your own expense. Um, for that, got to be disappointed. Uh, yeah, very disappointed. Um, what happened? Well, I, you know, drove it out there when I was downstairs and it worked just fine, but when I was up in the booth, I just didn't have enough signal or something because the drive just wasn't kicking in. Yeah. How long have you been working on that robot? Oh, about a year and a half. Oh, you seem, you seem really upset. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, I, I mean, yeah, it's a, you know, go a long ways to have it just kind of peter out like that is a bad thing, but, you know, I'm here to have fun and everybody else is having fun and it's great people to... Yeah. do stuff with well the whole experience and the atmosphere it's fantastic isn't it absolutely we'll see you next year i hope yeah fighting for the right to fight in the world championships again let's hear it for flipper <laughs> oh. that was easy peasy lemon squeezy wasn't it wasn't too bad um you're into the world championships now later on in the series you've seen some of the robots in the pits i assume yes uh, from other countries what countries scare you and what countries do you think, oh, I wouldn't mind fighting them? Uh, we're looking forward to fighting. Uh, we've seen one out there from South Africa. We think we can chew, chew on it a bit. Chew on that There's one like a bit. There's a lot of good bots here. Yeah. A lot of good bots in Britain. Hey, the Dutch ones are The right Dutch well. are awesome. Yeah. They have awesome bots. They are definitely one to watch. Oh, yes, they are. It's like Johan Cruyff, 1974. But that's soccer, you call it. That had gone right over your head. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're a great robot. Um, good luck in the World Championships. See you later in the series. Ladies and gentlemen, Spartacus! <laughs> Join me after the break when we get down, dirty, destructive and devastating here on Robot Wars. Don't go away. Coming up, two great second round fights. The number seven sees 13 black fighting gravity and Thor against lightning. Thunder and lightning, very, very frightening. Join us again in a couple of moments. Welcome back. We've had a sensation, a hustle, bustle, tussle. Then gravity made history. Bashing Hydra and smashing the arena so badly, it brought the show to a standstill. Welcome back to Robot Wars. And after a blistering round one, we're left with four ferocious fighting machines. I hope they're going to be happy going head to head. Craig in a little while, lightning against Thor, but first up, Gravity meets the seeded 13 black. Over to Jane in the pit. Do you think you can take them? Well, um, lightning is already a flipper and we already fought Thor, so 13 black is the obvious choice. And uh, if I can get in before they get their discs up to speed, we've got a good chance. At the minute, their machine is in bits over there. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> and their self-writing mechanism isn't that good either, so uh, we'll have to see. 
So we'll have to see, but uh, they are the number seventh seed. Yes. Are you going to take that seed off them? No. And flip it out of the arena? No, I hope to get the number one seed, so... Yes. Are you worried about 13 Black? Uh, no, not at all. You're absolutely not worried. This is an awesome machine. It's going to be a brilliant fight. Good luck, lads. Thanks. Here's the 13 Black boys. They are, of course, the number seven seed in the seventh wars. Is that going to be lucky for you? Um, we hope so, yes. <laughs> well, it's not looking too lucky at the minute. You seem to have your entire robot all over the bench. The situation normal, all in bits. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, man? Uh, just fixing the self-writer, still. It's right. Fine. You're about to fight, though. Are you going to have it right, sort of yeah. fixed in time? Yes. Yeah. You are? We hope so, yes. You're nervously <laughs> stir stirring I a am, cup yes. of coffee. <laughs> I need the caffeine to stay awake. <laughs> you think you can take them? No problem. OK, no problem. Yeah, they're pretty weak around the back end, so if you can get a, a good hit around the back, we'll smash the, uh, smash the wheels off. I'll tell you what, this is one fight I can't wait to see. It's going to be brilliant. 13 Black versus Gravity. Bring it on, lads! <laughs> Black. One of the problems for me early on was the amount of time it took those discs to get up to full running speed. There's the team, John and Tasha, Danny and Richard Morris. Gravity. Well, we've seen the full power of the Dutch flipper. WJ, Alex and Jerome. Roboteers, stand by. In the arena for the house robots. We've got Growler, our pet pooch. And joining him as well, there's the mighty Sir Killalot. Three, two, one, activate. For a place in the heat final then. And there goes the flipper of gravity in the number seven seeds. Ah, overturned. And 13 black in major peril now. We know they have a problem with self-writing. They have done in the past. They say they corrected that problem, now we will see. So how can they self-right? From there I can't see how they can. There's a high ground clearance because of the fact they're upside down and gravity can exploit that. They're in a CPZ, a corner patrol zone, and in comes Sir Killalot. The house robots can, of course, attack in a CPZ. In comes the, ooh, the claw, a grimace, a scrape. The wheels are spinning. I'm not too sure whether or not they'll rotate their way into the heat final. What a good early attack again by Gravity. This is certainly the best machine we've seen out of Holland ever in Robot Wars, because 13 Black is one of the best of British. Doesn't look like it, does it? They're turning round there, like a, a record on an old record player. Um, you probably never heard of record players, actually. That shows my age. Ask about your granddad, they'll tell you. They're in the corner. They're self-righted. They're OK. Or did they self-right? Or what the hell? Doesn't matter, they're out! Unlucky for some! Unlucky for you, John Six. Danny! 13 black gone! <laughs> Found their feet at last after being tossed Flipped, picked, spun, and in the end, bashed, bumped out. This is a very strong Dutch machine. The bounce took them out. Oh! 13 Black could not defy gravity. Gravity through to the heat final! <laughs> 13 Black, a lot of people's favourites, seventh seed. That was explosive, all over in the blink of an eye, really. Do we hate flippers? <laughs> <laughs> well, have you thought about getting a, um, a self writer it's rather than. It obviously didn't work. Yeah, we've, we've had nothing but trouble with self-writer for the last few days. It's just been an absolute nightmare. So we were hoping it was going to work for this fight, but if it didn't work, we knew we would have trouble. Yeah. And we had trouble. You certainly had trouble. <laughs> um, you keep relying on Sir Killalot to self-write you. 
It was so short. Yeah, I know. They've got a powerful flipper. How were you looking at the battle? What were you going to do? What was the plan? We were going to go for his wheels. Yeah. Um, we just didn't get a chance. So, where'd you go from here? I mean, everyone's favourite. A lot of people thought you were going to win this competition. We're coming back with a working self-writer next time. <laughs> oh, a working self-writer. <laughs> Guys, you've taken it well. You're good sports. Let's hear it for 13 Black. <laughs> All the way from Holland. A brand new robot on the block. Yeah. And people in the pits are quaking in their boots. I know. I'm pretty so, pleased. It was so quick, wasn't yeah. it? Well, was, I meant to get them on the back very, very soon, but didn't mean to get them out of the arena that fast. It was really quick. I mean, and, and like, you know, Sir Killlock came and helped them, got them back up again. And what did you do? Over again. Well, Is it the most powerful flipper we've seen on Robot Wars, would you say? Well, they told me. Yeah. yeah. Do you think you can go all the way here? Well, we can, but it, that doesn't only depend on the robot. How many flips can you get out of the canister before you run out? We have no idea. No idea. You've never <laughs> run out. No. <laughs> That's going to make people even more frightened. <laughs> well, guys, you're through to the heat final. Um, a lot of smart money's being placed on you guys. Let's see if you can go all the way. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for gravity. Oh. Gravity through to the Heat D final and looking very, very good. They'll meet either Lightning or Thor and Jane's in the pits with the Thor boys. Congratulations, Thor lads. You are through to the second round. Thank you. How did you find your battle? Good? No, not good at all. Um, we had a battery go down inside, so we basically just jammed our way through. Uh, we lost drive, but we um, caught a robot with a hammer, caused damage, so we got through l luckily. How did you rectify that? New battery? Yep. New drive? Borrowed a new battery from Fluffy. Um, Fluffy borrowed them a battery. Look at that. Um, Into robot relations. <laughs> nice one. Um, that's it, 100% again now, ready to go. The alien has remained intact. Here he is. You are through the second round. Uh, yeah. Do you want to know who you're fighting? Yes, please. Yeah. You're fighting Thor. Ooh, OK, OK, we can uh, deal with Thor. No sweat, yeah. No sweat? Yeah, in fact, this is lightning. Just wait for the thunder. But Thor is the god of lightning and thunder. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> not religious, sorry. <laughs> lightning. Laurie, wait for the thunder. That's going to embarrass you in years, in years to come. Laurie Calvert in the middle, I can tell you. Grown man. Thor. Thor with the hammer. Have they got power, Jason and Lee, though? Roboteers, stand by. In the arena for the house, <laughs> robots waiting for the thunder. It's Sergeant Bash. Three, two, one, activate. <laughs> How they come to meet and greet. Go on, Laurie, give us some thunder, mate. Running away. More like a little light shower out there at the moment. Bashing Thor, though. Thor trundles and turns. Then comes the hammer. Bang! But uh, I don't think they've got any battery problems at the moment, Thor. There we can see Lee and Jason Marston in the control pod. And Thor chasing at the moment. Oh, lightning got very close then to shut. Down came the big axe blade of shunt. Not too sure if it caused too much damage. Neither did that. Thor missing. Smoking a little bit as well. There's Laurie. He's a good competitor. We shouldn't laugh at him. Yes, we should. Oh, the aliens come on. The little uh, toy alien. Well, we thought it was uh, a little bit dodgy. And I wonder if it's going to get squished. Good push here by Lightning, driving onto Thor. I wonder if Thor needed to get this one early. The longer it goes on, for me, Lightning looks the stronger, tried to use its flipper. They're both in a CPZ danger zone. In comes Shunt, belatedly, a little bit slow to react. Sergeant Bash is in there as well. Give it a little lick of flame. Thor with the hammer blows. If this goes to the judges, I'll tell you what, it'll be tight. Because Thor looks the more impressive and the more aggressive, but I'm not too sure how many of those hammer blows are actually striking home against the Lightning team. That one grazed, that one did nothing. And 
Lightning is the more controlled of the robots for me. So Thor needs to really cause some damage now on that blue-coloured wedge-shaped machine with the chrome flashes and the stealthy shape. They're locked together as the pit descends and Thor's hammer keeps ticking away. Pit, 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 they cry. They're dangerously close. Is Lightning still moving? Thor's hammer is very slowly coming down and tapping. Look at the dents, the little holes there. I think Lightning's finished. Mm. He says no, almost in response, but they're not moving, are they, Redpot? Go and check. Oh, they are! Well, well, well! That was the old uh, rope a Muhammad Ali trick! And now Lightning can push Thor down the pit and completely turns the battle on its head! Kidology from the Lightning team and Thor has gone! Cease. Suddenly they tore away, came back on the attack and a bolt of lightning and the thunder was silenced of Thor's hammer. Very tactical battle, a war of attrition. In the end, Thor runs out of steam. The lightning has struck, lightning go through! God, they're disappointed. There we are. It was a war of attrition. It was very tactical. Yeah. But you ran out of steam in the end. Yeah. I mean, you couldn't get it up. The hammer was just... I think we had a gas leak. Yeah. Uh, I think we've had a battery go down as well. It's a new machine. And unfortunately, it's not quite reliable enough yet yeah. to go up, you know, to keep winning fights. The hammer's so heavy, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's got a lot of weight in it. Um, we, I mean, we should have 40 hits out of that. Yeah. And uh, something's gone amiss somewhere inside, and, and we've just got weaker and weaker until it looked pathetic at the end. I mean, have you yeah. shortened that hammer? Was it longer before? Yeah, I took a foot out of the hammer. Yeah. Uh, weight's the same, and then we increased the power five times to, you know, to give it a bit more thrust. So, yeah. Well, you, I mean, you were doing a lot of hitting, but you weren't doing any penetration. No. I think the gas leak had a lot to do with that. The first two or three hits were okay and it just got weaker and weaker yeah and then at one stage though i thought they were immobilized i mean they, they couldn't move you, were, you kind of had them stuck yeah. why did you just like um, stay still and wind the clock down yeah we tried but they uh i think shunt knocked them off yeah or ref but yeah never mind guys yeah. nice to see you back nice to see you still working on your robot let's hear it for the mighty four Um, and your robot wasn't working, was it? Yeah, it was working all right. We couldn't quite get under them, though, to yeah. get the flipper into play a lot. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't really see it flip much at all. No, we did once in the corner. We was pushing and ramming, really, in the end, just trying to be aggressive and gain those aggression points. Yeah. It's yeah. a nice, fast robot. Thanks, yeah. I mean, we got stuck with Thor at one point, right by the pier, and I That's just opened it. it. I was waiting to get him in, yeah. and uh, I, I can't remember what went wrong, but we were stuck. I'm glad the house robots freed us both, because it would have just been boring otherwise, and then we could get on with the job. But you could see the life seeping out of them, couldn't yeah. you? You could see them getting weaker yeah. and weaker and, and you, weaker. You're and in Max, <laughs> oh, you're in our booth, you could see me getting faster and faster. <laughs> they're going, they're going, you know. Yeah. Um, are you enjoying it so far? Oh, it's brilliant. Excellent. Fun. You can go all the way. All the way. Yeah. yeah. All the way. Happy with the way the robot's working? It's performing beautifully. Yeah. It's a, just a wonderful robot. These two guys, they've just helped us make a great team here. It's fantastic. Yeah. Well, good luck, guys. Good luck. Let's see if you can go all the way. Go hell for leather, for lightning! <laughs> Join me here after the break for what promised to be a fantastic heat final. Coming up, the heat final. Two flippers meet. Here's a tease. Will gravity again prove the stronger or lightning the more durable? The final in a few moments' time. So to the heat final, Gravity reaching this stage of the competition by tossing 7C's 13 black out and lightning at the end of a tactical battle, sending Thor back to the land of the longboats. 
Welcome back to Robot Wars and to the final assault in the pits. Just two robots remain. Out here, the war zone awaits. The heat final. Gravity from Holland against Lightning from Essex. So, what are your tactics going to be in this final? Just get in, flip them, get them out. You reckon you could do him? Probably. They really are the bad boys of War 7, these lot. There is the Gravity Boys. Good luck in that arena. Thanks. How are your nerves standing up, young man? Not bad. I'm chilling out, doing all right, and I think we can take him. We've got a very low front edge. You are through to the final? Yes, we are. How are you feeling? What do you think of the other team? Well, I think they're a bit cocky, and uh, we're going to knock them out. So, who'll reign supreme? And who'll get creamed? This is the heat final! Lightning. The Lightning boys here to knock a mare. Laurie Calvert, Richard Desmet, and Albert Schuller making up that team. Good team too. Gravity. Look at the high ground clearance at the back. Will that be a weakness for the gravity team from Holland, WJ, Alex and Geron? Roboteers, stand by. Into the war zone for the house robots, shunt. And there's dead metal. First time we've seen the metal one tonight. Three, two, one, activate. Terrific tussle in prospect here. Oh, good early skills. Now, you see. Oh, Lightning very nearly got to grips with Gravity. But Gravity gets the first flip in. Thrown through the air. Any damage? The little alien came off the back again. The toy alien. Oh, good self-writing using the CO2 flipper well. I think Lightning needs to get around the back of Gravity. That's an opportunity. Missed the opportunity. All the work being done here, the aggressive work by Gravity. We're seeing the lightning control booth there. Pushed onto the arena sidewall. This for a place in the series semi-finals. Ooh, lightning just getting away there from a flick of flame. They're locked together. Is the Gravity Flipper wedged onto lightning there? Difficult to see. I think they are. It's wedged between... Oh, no, it's free now. And flipped! Gravity flipping Lightning again! And Lightning side flippers, they're unique, can't really cause any damage. Hey, Gravity thought about going after Shunt for a while. I'm not too sure if there's any forward movement from Lightning. Gravity has sent something here, and another great and powerful flip from Gravity. The Flying Dutchman again. In decisive clinical lightning in major trouble. I'll go one further from my earlier statement. This is not just the best machine out of Holland, but out of the whole continent, I think, to fight in robot wars so far. Lightning. Ah, are they doing again what they did in the previous fight? Just conning gravity, sucking them in. Come in to my parlor, said the spider to the fly. Oh, or are they just. It finished. Gravity. Side by side with lightning. Gravity watches as lightning is counted down. Watches and listens. As does Shunt. Oh, and Shunt has paid the price. Lost concentration. Gravity flipped it. House robots won't like it. And gravity's after dead metal. He wants to take them all on. Shunt turned turtle. And suffering damage there. Look. Bits and pieces tumbling away. Bounce. Over it went. Wonder if the shunt cam's been damaged. And again, a massive flip on Lightning. These gravity boys are confident. He wants to flip them all. Go on, Dead Metal, catch them. Well, it's been double dutch so far because it's flipped two. Can it achieve the treble? Dead Metal holding on. Gravity spinning, delighted, preening. Winners of this heat and through to the series semi-final from Holland Gravity. And he wants to do it all. It's split dead metal now. It's taken them all on and beaten them all.
Watch out for gravity later in the series. It could go all the way. But for now, Refbot, red card it. Cheeky little blighter. Absolutely awesome. Roboteers beware. There is a new kid on the block. Lightning struck twice. It couldn't strike a third time. Gravity, a throw to the Serie semi-finals! There's not much I can say. I oh, know, that was really disappointing for us because right from the start, Lightning wasn't quite itself. But, yeah. but then when they flipped us, that was it, no drive. It was getting signal, flipper was still working, but without drive, yeah. I couldn't do anything. You got to the heat final, guys. It's brilliant. We're rookies, you know, it's our first year in the championships. Yeah. So, top 32 robots, I'm really happy with that. You know, so, um, you know, you're going to go away, you're going to make improvements. I mean, you've got to start somewhere, and what a starting mm. point you've, you know, you've come in at. Thanks, Craig. You I'm... know, so don't get disheartened. I mean, there's no disgrace getting battered by gravity, because I reckon that one could go all the way. More well, like anti-gravity, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've been great sports. Cheers. Great roboteers. It's a lovely robot. Let's hear it for lightning. We are not worthy. We are not worthy. Wow. You've seen the reaction you're getting in the pits. Yeah. People are genuinely scared of you now, aren't they? Yeah. Is there anyone you're scared of? Because well, you did have problems getting under him at first. I thought, well, you know, maybe if it's really low to the ground, you won't be able to get under. Is there anyone that scares you? Well, it's got to be really low on all sides of the road, and that's pretty hard. But I'm scared of vertical crushes. Yeah, vertical crushes, like yeah. when they start wrecking you, you know? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, let's hope you avoid vertical crushes. OK. Because um, I can't see anyone stopping you. In fact, my money's on you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. One awesome robot, Gravity! <laughs> well, Gravity defies all of Newton's laws, because when it goes up, it comes down in pieces on Robot Wars. Bye-bye. In our next heat, the first side in the seventh wars of the reigning UK champions, Tornado. Plenty of usurpers for the crown, like Barbarous 2, Leveller 2 and Tetanus Booster. Could be a close shade. Driving towards a score of zero here on Challenge Next in Pointless. Death driving and dangerous driving over on Pit Next in Road Wars.